and you have chosen well there to spend your time this morning. Um, my name is Julia Pilgrim, and I have had the great pleasure and honor of working with Chloe for 12 years as her piano teacher. I won't say more than that because the tears will begin, but uh, it has been such a joy. Chloe is a special person, and for you to be here today to hear her, I know you realize that as well and have been part of her life. So we're all gonna celebrate. Chloe's gonna come in here and just enjoy sharing with you things that she has learned through the years. Um, I will remind everyone, including myself, to check your cell phones, make sure everything is off. If you need to slip out for some reason, uh, if you do so during the applause, that will keep from breaking the spirit of her, her music. And um, Chloe will be sharing with us a little bit as the program goes along about uh, her pieces and some of her thoughts about her music, I'm sure. But again, I do welcome you, and um, I think there will be more words, and Julie Kate will talk, uh, share with us at the end of the program. There is an intermission. That's what my brain was <laughs> raising your time to remember. There is a brief intermission so that Chloe can have a, a break, uh, and then we'll come back and play for us. But thank you so much.
thank you everyone for being here right now. Um, some of my favorite people ever are in this room, so I'm very grateful for you all. And the song I just played was kind of something I've been working on towards the last two years of my um, high school career. The next two songs that I'm playing were kind of a culmination of, some of my favorites from elementary school is the first one, the second one is from middle school.
And especially a huge thank you to Miss Julia Pilgrim for teaching me piano for the past 12, 13 years. So thank you so much. These last two songs, the next one is Walk the Flowers, which my mom danced to in high school um, as a ballerina. And then the last one is Home, which I felt like was fitting because I'm about to go off and make a new home away from home. So. <laughs>
thank you everyone for coming and honoring Chloe in this way. And I'll reiterate what Chloe said. Um, some of my favorite people are here in this room and it means a lot to see you here. Um, thank you, Chloe. That was amazing. And I'd like to take a minute to honor Miss Julia and tell a couple stories. When Chloe was six years old, she um, wanted to play the piano. And so by the grace of God, somebody gave me your name. I don't even remember who it was. And so I called her and she was able to fit Chloe into her schedule. When Chloe was in the first grade, she started playing. Um, the first question Ms. Julia asked was, well, what kind of piano do you have? And I said, well, we don't have one. And so the first thing we did was buy an electric keyboard that Chloe played on for about six years. And um, the other thing that when we first found out where Miss Julia lived, which is about two blocks from our house, I was like, wow, this is, this is a deal. And little did I know that she is also the best piano teacher in Memphis. Um, and so um, when Chloe was in the sixth grade, we realized she needed something more. And we were able to inherit and renovate um, the piano that was Chloe's great-grandmother's. Um, Mary Catherine Prest Wade was a concert pianist and then um, played uh, music to um, her family and my father. It was from his mother and my uncle Mari are here. And so the um, talent that she passed down to Chloe, you know, that Chloe was able because of Miss Julia to bring that to life on the same piano that her great grandmother played on. Um, and as Miss Julia knows well, when their little students become teenagers, they have many distractions and um, they have sports and friends and all kinds of boyfriends and all kinds of things that can distract them from their practicing. And even a couple of times when I realized that Chloe was very busy, I would question her. Do you have enough time for everything you do? Is there anything you need to stop? Can you keep up with your piano? And her answer was always the same. She would look at me and say, Ma, I'm not playing piano. <laughs> and I know that is because her love of playing her music and playing the piano equals her love for her teacher. <laughs> I would like to thank you, Miss Julia. Um, as you know, being a mother, parenting um, is not just done by the parent, and that it really is the accumulation of all of the adults' effect on the child's life. And we have been very blessed to have you as a positive effect on Chloe's life and help her grow into this amazing, strong, brilliant, young lady and i thank you for instructing her on piano you've been a mentor and you've been a friend and you've been another mother to her so thank you thank you and i'd like to present you with these flowers <laughs> and a card for you oh thank you and that's for you thank you julie you're welcome I'm not sure how the ending was going to go for this, but I do have something I want to present to Chloe. And um, I know Chloe loves books Ooh. and she loves music, so you can imagine what's in that package. It's, it's a kind of a keepsake book of classical pieces. Uh, a few years ago, Chloe came in excited one fall and, and had the longest list of uh, classical pieces. We, we, we started dreaming. Uh, you know, Moonlight Sonata, Claire de Lune, the Beethoven Pathetique, uh, just on and on, you know, what pieces could we add to, to her playing? And I, I'm rambling, but I will say it is very rare uh, to have a senior recital. Many of my teachers, I'm in the Music Teachers Association for, for uh, the greater Memphis area, and, uh, and 
um, teachers lose most of their students by middle school, and then the few that hang in there maybe by junior or senior year. Like Julie Kate said, the schedule is just so full, and I'm so thankful when, when students do re remain with me. Chloe, I remember us crying through a lesson a while back, <laughs> and it wasn't over the music, was it? <laughs> so we have shared some very special times, and I will always recall uh, Chloe scooting up close to me as a little six-year-old starting lessons and me thinking, Oh, it, she's such a sweet little girl. She, she's not a little girl trying to be a teenager or anything. She just loves life and loves music and is so sweet. So I appreciate that. I'll read this, Chloe. Music speaks what words cannot express, soothes the mind and gives it rest, heals the heart and makes it whole, flows from heaven to the soul. And that is a, a quote from someone, uh, uh, I haven't been able to find out who said that first, but those words are very true, and music will help soothe you in college and throughout yes. your lifetime. You have chosen something you can do for the rest of your life, and I appreciate it. Love you, girl. Thank you. I'm <laughs> <laughs>